Greetings to you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today we are reading Numbers chapter 8. As we read and meditate this chapter, may the Lord speak to each one of each one of our hearts and minds. This chapter can be divided into three sections. The first section is about the details about the lampstands. The second one is separating the Levites and the third one is the wave offering. In the first section we see the lampstands were made of hammered gold and their bodies as well as blossoms were made of this material. The Lord showed the Moses how this pattern to be followed, the separating the Levites. And the Lord then told Moses that they should take, they should take the Levites and separate them from the Israel in order to make them clean. The process is as follows. He first set them apart and sprinkled the water on them in order to become purified. Secondly, the Levites should take off their clothes and shave their entire bodies. Then they were told to make sacrifice for the Lord. They did this with bull. And uh, the thirdly, the Levites were to stand before Aaron and his son as they were to be presented a wave offering before the Lord. In the third section, we see the wave offering is done. The Levites were, have been purified. They have to approach them then to tent of meeting. Then now the Israels are were purified wholly. The Lord says that they have to give him the first uh, born children. He says that all the firstborn males in Israel are his. This means when he struck down all the firstborn in Egypt, they made them as his own people, as his own. They, he has taken the Levites and put them in place of the firstborn within Israel. The Levites were given to Aaron and his sons as gifts. We see the tabernacle and its furnishings, the pictorial of the pictorial uh, uh, picture of our Lord and uh, our Lord Jesus Christ. The lamp stands is certainly a symbol of Jesus Christ, light, Lord Jesus Christ, the light of the world. The God is light, and it through it's only through His revelation we see and understand the spiritual truth. The lamp stands were as a reminder to the priests that Israel was called to be the light to the Gentile world. Unless the people obeyed God and worshipped Him as a commanded, Israel light of witness would become dim and eventually go out. This just have what happened. A part of blame lay with the priest. Only God could see the priest as a minister in the holy place. And if you see the oil of the lambs is a symbol of the Holy Spirit of God. When alone can, can empower us to witness effectively for Christ, a church that is filled with the Spirit of God can face opposition and continue to bear witness courageously to our Lord Jesus Christ. We see some of the questions here. What are these lamps? The seven lamps on the lampstand was described more in the Exodus. These lamps could be removed for cleaning and when it was lit, had to turn so that they illuminated the area in front of lampstand, which is where the bread of presence was displayed. What was the value of the ritual purification? The ceremony of washing and prayer symbolized the spiritual cleansing. It made a person spiritually fit to participate in the worship of God. In what sense? In what sense were the Levites set apart for God? The Levites, unlike the rest of Israel, did not own or form the land. Instead, they devoted their lives to the tabernacle and other priestly responsibilities. Their, life, their lives were given to God for this exclusive purpose. Why did God substitute the Levites in the place of firstborn males from the tribes, from the other tribes? Perhaps to keep families and clans together and to avoid confusion, any confusion that could have resulted from having people of different tribes involved in priestly service. And why did God have set an age, restriction age, with which the priests could serve? Tabernacle duty was hard work. It included dismantling, howling, and reassembling the tabernacle when the camp moved from one place to another place. It was best for men with this age group to do the work, both for efficiency reasons and for the protection of the priests themselves. Now, some of the uh, words we see here, the firstborn in Hebrew, it is Bekor, and the firstborn male held a special place of honor in Old Testament, being the heir who carried on the family name and inherited most of their father's estate and the first blessing. The word also refers to do anything to anything that is chief or the first of its kind. The term has strong messianic connotations. God claimed the firstborn as his own in recognition of the fact that he spared the Hebrews firstborn sons uh, when he took the Egyptians firstborn sons. But in God's mercy, later took for his service the Levites rather than the firstborn of each family of Israel. This tribe was granted the privilege of serving God in the tabernacle. You see, 
So the numbers chapter eight was from us five to twenty two, the purification of Levites. We see the the pictorial the pictorial that the picture of our Lord Jesus Christ, who gave Himself as a great sacrifice of sin, as it is written in Colossians chapter one. Was fourteen. He is the one who restores not just a tribe or a nation, but whole entire humanity in connection, in restoring the relationship with God. He is first God's firstborn. The best, the, the best God has to satisfy the demand of His love. Dear brother and dear Lord, as God is speaking through this chapter, let's be reminded. And if there is any uncleanliness, let's purify our ourselves in the light of the Word of God. And uh, so let us serve boldly and uh, 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 our, uh, with our lives acceptable to Him. May the Lord bless the short meditation in the edification of our spiritual lives and continue to speak the remaining chapters of this book, Numbers. Amen.